During the summer of 2018, we took venture on a meander around southeast Alaska, covering some 3,800 nautical miles over three and a half months. We went wherever our fancy led us, and a series of videos illustrate the highlights of what we saw along the way. This chart illustrates our wandering course. Leaving Sitka, it would have been shorter to travel up the exposed west coast of Chichikov Island. Preferring smoother waters, we decide to retrace our course up Peril Strait. We spend the night in Indian Cove with a view of the magnificent coastal mountains. The following morning, we venture into Cross Sound and pass a group of stellar sea lions. The huge male guarding his harem is just to the right of center. A skein of mist hovers over the crags. It is here that swirling currents of the outgoing tide confront the incoming power of the ocean. We consider continuing up the coast to Latuya Bay, the site of the largest tsunami wave ever recorded. But prudence dictates we turn back at Cape Spencer Lighthouse, concerned we could be trapped on the wrong side of the bay's dangerous entrance by an upcoming change in the weather. We follow Lysiansky Strait to the isolated town of Pelican, which is served by two ferries per month in the summer and just one in the winter. Float planes are the main form of access, often in the shape of a venerable de Havilland beaver dwarfed by the surrounding mountains. Here again we see examples of the skills of the pilots bringing their craft alongside the dock. With the volume of traffic, it is necessary to move one aircraft to make room for another.
Like virtually every town in this area, the structures are built on pilings driven into the water, and the streets are boardwalks. These boots are lined up outside a tourist hotel. Planes do not stop long and are soon on their way. We take venture to the very head of Lysiansky Strait and spot a total of 16 bears, but they are all too far away to photograph. We backtrack down the strait and call at the small town of Elfin Cove. The main dock is almost deserted when we arrive early in the day. Here too, most of the buildings are on pilings and boardwalks link everything together. Elfin Cove means elves, and they appear in odd places, like hiding under the goat's beard. Some are quite rude. I've heard of flipping houses, but this is ridiculous. A pilot boat is based here for transferring pilots to and from cruise ships arriving and leaving inland waters. Back at the main dock, the charter fishing boats have returned. The fish cleaning tables are busy. Among the catch are colourful rockfish, which have a life expectancy of 60 to 75 years. So we have to wait that long to see these fish replaced. The following morning, the fish boats leave around 8 o'clock for another day on the heaving ocean. They are replaced by a series of float planes, bringing packages and new customers and taking departing guests with their boxes of frozen fish. Elfin Cove has no ferry service, so relies on private boats and float planes for access. We take our leave and cross the strait towards the mountains in Dundas Bay. We pass a mini cruise ship, one of several that provide adventure cruises through these and other waters. Note the kayaks.
We proceed deep into the head of the bay and pass large numbers of otters, mostly females floating on their backs with their young, called kits, on their stomachs. Once at anchor, it is time to retrieve food from our eight cubic foot freezer on the flying bridge. Like all Flemings, Venture has a compact, practical galley with an induction cooktop equipped with clamps to keep the pots in place. Spaghetti, with homemade sauce, is a simple and frequently requested dish. Great stuff, Tony. Thank you. As part of our meandering itinerary, we head south down Chatham Strait to the Bay of Pillars on Kui Island and poke around to see what we can discover. Jellyfish, those strange amorphous creatures, are a surprisingly common sight during the summer months. Bull kelp, on the surface, is a warning of shallow water. It is almost magical when seen from below.